Hey, how's it going? This is Melinda and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to discuss whether we should feel guilty about buying records from Walmart. I have made a few videos discussing records from Walmart and every time I do, I get so many interesting comments. Uh, this is a controversial subject that I don't know really should be, but I want to talk about it on my channel, the pros of buying from Walmart, uh, the cons, and I want to hear how you all fall in on this. So let's go ahead and get started with talking about Walmart and their record exclusives. Uh, what's so great about them? So first off, the convenience. Let's face it, it's so easy to go into Walmart. I know personally, Walmart sells a popcorn that I can only find at Walmart. And it's just so easy to come in and breeze through and look at their records. So it is a very convenient thing. So a lot of us buy our milk or just essentials, cleaning products, uh, home goods, you name it, at Walmart. So you might as well, since they do sell vinyl, take a look, right? I, I get that. That makes a lot of sense. Also, I think Walmart vinyl that they carry is great for beginners. Uh, there's a lot of those basic records that we all want early on in the collection. They sell those at Walmart. And I really think they've honed in on getting a lot of greatest hits LPs, which I think that's good for everybody. A lot of times when you're building a vinyl collection at first, it's fun to get those greatest hits, get all of those songs you love right away. And I still love greatest hits records. So I think those are very cool as well. And let's talk about the exclusives. Of course, there are some wonderful cool exclusives that you can only get at Walmart. I'll show you just a few examples of that. Uh, this is a Greatest Hits LP, Bon Jovi Crossroad, and uh, it's a two LP set. It is the best of Bon Jovi, so for me, that's probably all the Bon Jovi I need in my collection. I know a lot of you would disagree with that, and that's fine. Uh, and it's on a beautiful red vinyl. So it's an exclusive color to Walmart. So you feel like you're getting something really special with that one. Here's another one that was uh, from Walmart. The Eagles. They had a 4LP set that you could buy. It was a concert uh, live from the forum. Walmart put a special 2LP set out uh, for less money. You get a lot of the big hits. Uh, just really, really cool release. Stevie Nicks, Stand Back. And this is another really cool Walmart exclusive, has her greatest hits, some iconic live performances and collaborations, uh, all on this exclusive. So I really love that one too. And I'm not proud of this, but I will show this uh, too. Not that I have anything against Poison. It's just the fact that I still haven't opened this record yet. But I love the colored vinyl. Uh, I love that green and yellow together, the artwork. It is Poison's Greatest Hits. Again, um, I haven't opened it, and I'm not opposed to Poison. I actually like them and saw them in concert back in the day. Uh, this was just a cool release that I fell sucker for, and I still haven't opened. I need to change that and open it. So uh, there are some really cool exclusives, and it just feels really special when there's a color that's just exclusive to one store. You feel like you've got something a little rare, maybe a little limited. And sometimes Walmart can be cheaper, especially those Black Friday sales. A lot of the records I just showed came from the $15 Black Friday sale. I bought those a few years ago, but they do it just about every year. And I love watching the vinyl channels when they show all these wonderful records they got for $15. It's very exciting. And I think Walmart as a whole, when you compare to mom and pop shops, uh, they will get newer releases in. And I think they are maybe when they first come out a few dollars cheaper you might be saving two or three dollars maybe more uh, not a huge difference but i do think at times walmart can be cheaper and 
Walmart does have good quality records. There's not a special cheaper Walmart pressing plant out there that uses cheaper vinyl, cheaper cardboard. You know, these records are pressed at the same pressing plants as everything else that comes out. For example, I did buy up my Metallica collection just by going to Walmart a couple of years ago. They had these beautiful colored vinyl pressings. They sound really good. I believe Metallica has their own pressing plant and everything Metallica does, including these Walmart exclusives, comes from their pressing plant. So I was able to get a lot of Metallica records. I, I don't need every Metallica record, but my favorites, I bought them all from Walmart. So I thought that was really neat. I've never had any problems with the quality of the pressings. Um, not any more so than when you buy from any other store. Pressing plants have their issues. Uh, Walmart isn't exclusive to that. So uh, those are some really good things about buying from Walmart. There are some negatives too, and I want to point those out because mom and pop stores do have their advantages. First off, good luck finding help when you're wanting something at Walmart. You're not going to go to Walmart and ask, what do you recommend? What's a very cool record that I need to have in my collection? Yes, occasionally there might be a cool guy, young person who knows music and they might be able to suggest something for you at Walmart. That typically doesn't happen. Usually you're on your own and you just have to look through the records. And while I'm bringing that up, Walmart has a terrible way of displaying their records. You cannot dig through them in an efficient way like you can at mom and pop stores. I rarely look at every single record at Walmart. They're just too hard to dig through. They're not in those flip bins like you find at record stores. It's just not a fun experience. And a lot of times if a record sits there very long, it gets damaged just because of the way they have them displayed. So uh, I don't really enjoy looking through records at Walmart. It's a little bit of a hassle, in fact. Um, I like that you can go to a mom and pop store and trade records. You know, if there's a record or something you're really, really wanting, you can take your records that you bought that you never listened to. There might be something you paid $5 for several years ago that's now worth 20 that a record store will give you. They give you trade in. They can give you cash, but even better is if you can get store credit. They will give you more with store credit. They will order what you want, or they may even have it in stock. So you don't even have to spend money. It helps the mom and pop store if you bring in those old records you never listened to, and then you get store credit and you're able to get something you really want. And you cannot do that at Walmart. It will not happen. You know, and also, um, you're never going to find that Grell record at Walmart, that special moment that only comes when you go to a mom and pop store when you're digging in the wild you know you dig and every time you turn a record when you're digging through there's this hope and prayer that something you've really been looking for is the next record and it's a magical moment when it happens and it's happened to me several times I can honestly tell you that has never happened at Walmart. Yes, there might be a record that becomes a grill that is a reissue that Walmart sells, but you're never going to have that experience of digging and digging and all of a sudden, oh, there's that record I've been wanting forever. It doesn't exist at Walmart. And I know this is really silly, but you're never going to have a cool Walmart record t-shirt. You know, you're never going to buy this t-shirt that says, Walmart record section. Yay. Never. Uh, but you can find some really cool t-shirts from record stores. Uh, let's just show a few. For example, I love this one from Toad Hall Books and Records. Look at that. So cool. JTP's, I'm sorry, JTB's Groovy Record Room. A very cool t-shirt. The beautiful artwork that is Noble Records. I love that t-shirt. I had to have that one. And also, 
you sometimes get to buy a record and then the store goes out of business and that's what happened this was one of my favorite record stores it was in louisville it's now defunct fun house records and audio i still have the t-shirt and i will treasure it the rest of my life i found so many great records when i first started collecting at that store and i'm still uh, sad that they're out of business now, you cannot buy one of those really cool t-shirts that says Walmart on them. They might be able to do something pretty funny. So I kind of get there could be something kind of fun if they wanted to do something like that done in the right way. But that's just not the case. And you are just going to miss out on a really fun experience if you don't go to those mom and pop shops. Sure, Walmart might have a few of the things you want. But there is nothing better than going into a record store. And if you go often enough, one of the employees, the store owner, maybe even someone else who's shopping there is going to recognize you and say, oh, it's good to see you're back again. Welcome to the store. Let me know if I can help you find anything. That special feeling you get when you go into those small, intimate record stores where they remember your face. Sadly, I don't have any record stores in the city I live in that have that. But it's so fun when I go into record stores and they remember me because I've been in there often enough. Maybe I've spent enough money. Um, it's just really cool to be recognized. So should we feel guilty for buying Walmart records? Absolutely not. We are helping our local economy when we shop at Walmart. Local people, people we know, our friends and family work at Walmart, although they're no longer cashiers. And we can go into a whole nother video about the cashier situation. But, you know, you're just not going to get that home feel. We're helping people that we uh, live around, but you're never going to get that really cool home feel that you get in mom and pop stores. Um, so there's just nothing that beats the experience of buying a record at a mom and pop store, but we shouldn't feel guilty. We all have our own choices and I would really love to know what your opinion is about this in a calm demeanor, because I've gotten so many ugly comments in past videos, people actually people arguing with each other in the comment section. And I don't want that. But I'd love to hear what you think. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button so that this video uh, gets more views. And also hit the notification bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments below because I love hearing from you. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.